Today we're making a lady. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> that didn't even come out right. <laughs> How does one make a lettuce? <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome back to Create with Chidex. It's lovely to have you here once again. I hope you are all doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made cakes that look like bunches of romaine lettuce. If you like realistic cake videos such as this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I try to post videos every week. And let's just get started then. I started by downloading lettuce leaf photos from the internet and printing them out on edible wafer paper. I had 8 wafer paper leaves but I suggest you print at least 12 because mine weren't enough. Here yeah, I've got a bunch of real romaine lettuce so I'm going to start by plucking out the best leaves from this lettuce. I plucked out 8 leaves and now I'm going to bunch up some foil paper and place these leaves on top of the bunched up foil papers. After arranging the leaves, I'll use them as a natural mold to create the lettuce leaves for my cake. To make the mixture that I'll use to coat my edible wafer paper leaves, I mixed in 2 teaspoons of glycerin into half a cup of water. Next, I placed one of the edible lettuce photos on top of the lettuce leaf mold and then using a soft brush, I started painting my mixture all over the photo. The glycerin in this mixture helps to make the wafer paper more flexible and reduces the risk of it tearing but also try to be gentle while painting as you could still rip the paper. I'm going to try to saturate this wafer paper with my mixture and work it into the creases and the veins of my lettuce leaf mold. I followed this same process for all my leaves and when I was done, I left them overnight to dry. I drew a simple template on parchment paper, then using the scissors, I cut it out and I'm going to use this template to carve out the rough shape of my cake. Before drawing my template, I measured a real lettuce bunch, so I drew the template to be approximately the same size as the real bunch of lettuce. Now I'm placing the template on the sheet of cake which I've got here, I carved out three layers. I'm making two bunches of lettuce and so I'm going to split one of these layers into two to add one part each to the remaining two layers of cake. Basically, I want the height of my stacked cakes to be slightly higher than the height of a bunch of real romaine lettuce to give me room to carve the cake. Now that I've got my three cake layers, I'll split each one into two. Then like I said previously, I'll share one of the three cake layers between the other two and when I've done that, I'll glue the parts together with butter cream. After gluing the cake pieces together, the cake will go into the freezer for a minimum of 30 minutes. I took the cakes out of the freezer one after the other to carve them. Here I'm just carving the first one a bit at a time. 
I'm gonna be rounding and carving it into a shape that looks almost like the top part of a champagne flute. I'm only gonna show the carving process for one of the cakes and I'll do the other one off camera. I finished carving my two cakes, so now I'm going to cover both of them with a thin layer of buttercream. Now that the cakes are completely covered in buttercream, I'll roll out some cream colored modeling chocolate. Then lifting it up, I'll drape it over the cakes and smoothing it into the sides before tucking the edges underneath and trimming away the excess. When I had finished covering my cakes with modeling chocolate, I went on to trim my leaves. First of all, I used the scissors to trim around the leaves. Then using my fingers, I tore away the remaining white bits at the edges to make it irregular and more realistic. I trimmed all my eight leaves in this manner and then with a soft brush, I lightly painted the top end of my cakes with edible green gel color mixed with vodka. Next, I used the same green color mixture to paint some plain roughly torn edible wafer paper before attaching them to the bottom part and the top end of the cakes. I'll do the same thing for the second cake, then I'll come back to arrange the remaining wafer paper leaves. To arrange the wafer paper lettuce leaves, I lightly painted on my edible green color and vodka mixture underneath each leaf, then I arranged them around the cakes with my two best leaves placed at the top. While attaching the leaves, I also had to dab some of the vodka mixture on top of the leaves to help it stick better.
passion, give a sweet concussion. Oh, you miss my touching. Before attaching my top leaf, I placed it on the cake to check if it was going to cover the cream part of the cake properly and it wasn't. So I had to paint an additional scrap of plain wafer paper to cover the open part before attaching the main leaf at the top. I needed to make the bottom part of my lettuce cakes similar to that of a real lettuce, so I attached small pieces of my remnant modeling chocolate to the bottom end of the lettuce cakes. Then using my fondant tool, I blended this modeling chocolate into the wafer paper leaves and also texturized it just like the end of the real lettuce. I also used the same brush that I used to paint my wafer paper leaves to apply a very faint and light coat of paint to the area where I blended the chocolate and wafer paper to make the blended area less visible. <music> Lastly, using a brush with a very narrow tip, I painted on some light brown spots at the bottom end, dabbing off the excess color with a paper towel. And finally you have it, cakes that look like bunches of romaine lettuce. Unfortunately, I mistakenly deleted the video showing the cutting of the cakes, so here are some photos instead. Thank you guys for watching! It was lovely to have you back on the channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!